teamed up with Harkila, specialists in outdoor wear for shooting, hunting and hiking. I've been invited to head office to see why their clothes are renowned worldwide for quality and performance. In this playlist we're going beneath the fabric, you'll see some of the best and newest pieces that are available and soon to come. Good afternoon. Uh, I've got something slightly different to show you now. This is the Harkila heat range. Uh, you're looking at the jacket and this is something that we've been selling for the past three years and uh, is just a wonderful piece of kit. If you've seen any of your uh, the other films that we've done, we've been about products that are lightweight, breathable, waterproof, and they're keeping the wind out and the water out. But if it's cold, you're gonna need something to layer up underneath. That's very important and something to keep you warm. This is the ultimate keep you warm piece of clothing. Electric clothing or heat uh, with batteries, etc., is not new. They've been like a toaster in the past. They've had bits of wire going round you, just like a toaster, and you plug it into a set of batteries, which are heavy and um, difficult, and you have to keep replacing them. The wires are not so good. They're not waterproof. Water will kill them, and they're not washable. Lots of reasons why. Actually, they're not great pieces, and occasionally used to catch fire as well. This is done on a completely different system. This is a heat jacket. Uh, this one particularly good for, store, for high seat sitters, I think, anybody out deer shooting or fox shooting. This is the lining to it, which is um, a silvered reflective lining. There is a, um, a 40 gram padding in there as well. But the main point about this is this, that you plug it into a power bank. This is a Arkila power bank, but it can be anyone. You, any power bank that you can get. This is a 10,000 amp hour one. Um, doesn't matter which one you get. They kind of all work. 10,000 we're recommending is the minimum power uh, for your power bank. Uh, and that should keep you going on full power for about four hours. Um, you probably wouldn't want to be on full power for four hours because you're going to cook and you're going to like the casserole. So you'd want to turn yourself down a bit. So I've plugged this in. This just shows that there's life in the battery. So I'll turn that over because that's just a distraction. You can see this cord goes into the jacket and lights up this blue switch. I uh, can press that so that's amber and press it so that's red as well. And that's all you need to do. Now that's heating up. There's a heat element in the back of this. Now you can have to take it from me that I can feel this warming up already. I might even ask my cameraman just to attest the fact that that's heating up and you can feel that uh, heating up already. This heats up, this is not in the whole jacket, it's, it's this kind of shape and it looks a little like a slightly bigger version of that. And this is actually the heating element. It's, it's actually a fabric. I have no idea how this works. It would be really clever if I did, but then I would be able to go into business and make it something. This is a very clever um, piece of fabric indeed. So you pass an electrical current through it and it'll heat up. It's adjustable. It goes up to 52 degrees. And 52 degrees, let me tell you, is quite warm. Um, you certainly wouldn't want to be um, at 52 degrees all the time, and uh, in, unless you were absolutely freezing. The fact is that you, if you've got a jacket over the top of this and some kind of underwear underneath it, this is gonna keep you perfectly warm in some really, really serious conditions. Bearing in mind we're a Scandinavian company and uh, they have some very, very cold weather indeed. This is exactly what this is designed for. So this is working away. You put that in its own little pocket which is a pocket behind a pocket. And that's that. And that will keep you going. This is on blue, as I said, there's an amber and there's a red setting as well. So whatever you want to do. For the techies amongst you, there is actually a um, Harkila app, but this is how it connects and you can um, decide upon the temperature that you want and this goes different colours. You've got a little pocket up here for a phone or radio, as in common with many things. Obviously they put that zip into the seam to make that work. There are two large pockets in the front, 
This is quite stretchy material at the side so you can move. And basically that's it. This is a really, really warm um, jacket. Once you've got the heat element here, heated up and it's in the small of your back, it'll keep you warm. If you've got that central core and your kidney area warm, that then radiates warmth and warm blood around your body and will tend to keep you really, really warm. There are other elements of this range. I think the next and the most popular one for us has been the waistcoat, the gilet. Works in exactly the same way. You've got a pocket here. with a tab that you plug in and that heats up. I won't go through the same process, but that's similar to all. Obviously there are no arms on this. This is just a body. Has exactly the same um, heating element that is about this size. So just heats up that central core in the back. They come in this nice bag. That's why the bag's there when you buy them. The, they don't come with a heating, with a, a power bank. That's because if you have a power bank, and many of us do, you can use that, or you can buy another one, or you can buy one of the Harkila ones. They are all very similar. In fact, this range has been so popular, we've now made underwear. So these are long johns. They sit outside, obviously, and you can, Plug that in. There are two charging points. You can have the top as well. That works in a very similar way. And the last thing that we've done in this range, which the boys didn't really believe, it's designed for bore shooting, but this is a muffler. So you can stand there when it's really, really freezing cold. And on the back of this, You've got the button. You need to plug it in, of course, which is why it didn't light up. But assumably you put the battery in there, press it, and your hand muff keeps you nice and warm. So if you're out ball shooting, which is really what this was designed for, sometimes you're waiting a long time on a peg, a couple of hours at a time maybe, and waiting for some action. And so you are nice and warm, your hands are ready on the trigger when some action happens. Very clever. Very nice, we sell a lot in Germany. But actually, if you get cold hands, hey, this may not be a bad thing to buy. Thanks again to Simon for this demonstration. In the next videos, we're gonna be looking at some of the accessories, including the bum bag and the brand new binocular holders that will be coming in next year. So look out for that. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you for the next video.